my friend. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And uh, I hope we'll see each other in Washington by the end of the year here. One of the things that uh, always stuck in my mind, and we've had a lot of discussions over the years, you and I, how long has it been? Who can count? I, I tell you what, I, I, I gave up counting because he worked for the embassy and I was a freshman senator. And uh, we were both very important then. Uh, anyway, uh, 75 years ago, the first Israeli Prime Minister, David Ben-Gurion, after declaring independence, used a phrase that I've quoted all very often. He said that the world stands, if the world stands with Israel, to the dream of generations will be fulfilled. The dream of generations. And uh, together, Israel and the United States have been working together to make that dream a reality for, uh, for a long time. You've heard me say many times, with a no Israel, we'd have to invent one. And, uh, and I mean it. It includes building a more stable and prosperous Middle East that over time is beginning to occur and, uh, and through historic initiatives that have begun in previous administrations, including, most recently, the Indian Middle East uh, European Economic Corridor, which I think has enormous promise after the G20 meeting in India which is going to connect India and Europe through Saudi Arabia, the UAE, and Israel. I think it's a big deal. And uh, we're working on a lot more together. Today, uh, we're going to discuss some of the hard issues. And that is upholding democratic values that lie at the heart of our partnership, including uh, checks and balances in our systems, and preserving a path to a negotiated two-state solution. And uh, ensuring that Iran never, never acquires a nuclear weapon. Because even where we have some differences, my commitment to Israel, as you know, is ironclad. I, uh, I think without Israel, there's not a Jew in the world that's secure. I think Israel is essential. And I look forward to discussing all of this with you and working together with your team to fulfill those, uh, as Ben Green said, uh, the dream of generations. I think we have a chance to you know, I, uh, I, I suffer from a, a oxymoron, Irish optimism. Uh, and uh, I think that uh, if you look at the pie, if you and I, 10 years ago, were talking about uh, normalization with uh, Saudi Arabia, and, uh, and uh, I think we look at each other like, who's been drinking what? But, uh, but we, we, we're, we're Good really, Irish whiskey. Good Irish whiskey. <laughs> That's the reason why I've never had a drink. <laughs> At any rate, so welcome, BB, and I uh, hope we can get some things settled today. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Joe, uh, we've been uh, friends for, I've checked it, over 40 years. And uh, our friendship goes a long way and can uh, take us a long way. Um, I, uh, I'm delighted to see you. I think we live at a time of great promise, but also grave danger. Uh, you just spoke about that great promise in the G20 uh, meeting that uh, you uh, participated and led. You uh, spoke about an economic corridor that would link uh, Asia, the Middle East, and Europe together. And such a corridor will, uh, uh, will make Israel a very important hub on a, on a highway of unprecedented prosperity. Uh, but I think, and you think, that it can do something much bigger than that. I think that uh, under your leadership, Mr. President, we can forge a historic peace between Israel and Saudi Arabia. And I think such a peace would go a long way first to uh, advance the end of the Arab-Israeli conflict, uh, achieve reconciliation between the Islamic world and the Jewish state, and advance a genuine peace between Israel and the Palestinians. Uh, this is... Uh, something within our reach. Uh, I, uh, I, I believe that uh, working together, we can make history and create a better future for the region and beyond. And also by working together, we can confront those forces that threaten that future, none more so than Iran. I appreciate, Mr. President, your uh, continuous commitment to prevent Iran from achieving nuclear weapons capability. I think that's critical. And that shared goal of ours can be best achieved by a credible military threat, crippling sanctions, and supporting the brave men and women 
uh, of Iran who despise that regime and who are our real partners for a better future. So I look forward to uh, working with you and your team to, to uh, realize the promise and confront, uh, confront the threat. Uh, as I said, we live in, uh, and you said, we live in uh, uncertain times, rapidly changing times. So I want to reassert here before you, Mr. President, that one thing is certain and one thing will never change, and that is Israel's commitment to democracy. Uh, we will continue to uphold the values that both our proud democracies cherish. Uh, and I think that working together, we'll realize the promise, roll back the dangers, and bring a better future for our region and the world. We can make history. Mr. President, with your leadership, we can make history. Together. Together. Okay. Mr. President, what are the Palestinians need to do?